Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Upasana Singh, and I'm back with another very informative video. And this video is based on TCS Hack Quiz Season 6. In this video, we'll be talking about everything related to TCS Hack Quiz, from knowing what is TCS Hack Quiz to the job opportunities they are offering and a number of rounds, purposes of uh, the TCS Hack Quiz, and so on. So make sure you don't miss this video and you watch this video completely so that you don't miss any detail about Hack Quiz. Let's get it done. Uh, now let's get into the video and let's see what TCS Hack Quest exactly is. So first of all, let's know what is TCS Hack Quest. TCS Hack Quest is basically a challenge based on ethical hacking. So TCS Cyber Security Unit is looking for students and enthusiasts who have a passion for ethical hacking and in general want to secure the digital future of organizations engaging in transacting millions of data points across the world. So if you are an ethical hacking enthusiast, then you can go for this hack quest. And if you want to make future in ethical hacking, if you want to get opportunity, then then this is an opportunity for you. TCS is bringing hack quest for you. Now here you have to participate individually. You can't participate in team in this contest. Also, the top performing candidates will be getting ninja, digital and innovator roles through this opportunity. Other than this, getting the roles, you can also win uh, prizes up to five lakhs, which is a great amount. And if you are interested in ethical hacking, then this is an opportunity for you. Now let's move on to the further details now. Now, after knowing about TCS Hack Quest, it is very important to know the eligibility criteria because because if you don't pass this eligibility criteria, then you don't even be able to participate in this competition. Coming on to this, the contest is open for 2021 and 2022 batch of BTEC, MTEC, BCA, MCA, BSc, and MSc from all relevant institutes in India. So, no matter in, uh, which institute you are, you can participate, but your course should be BTEC, MTEC, BCA, MCA, BSc, and MSc, and you should be a graduate of 2021 or 2022. So, uh, other than this, you should be from IT or computer science related disciplines, and you should be having bachelor's or master's degree in that. Also, you should be following the meeting the TCS recruitment criteria, which is candidate must have 60% or above in 10, 12, and 70% in your highest level of education. So these are some of the things. Other than this, you should be above 18 years of age and you don't be having any pending open uh, backlogs. So you should not be having any pending backlogs. You should be of 18 years of age and so on. And other these are the eligibility criteria. And if you pass these eligibility criteria, then you can definitely go for this hack quest. Let's move on to the further details now. So if you know these things, then you will be give, uh, getting preference over here. So these are if you know about application security, network security, Java, J2E, PHP, Python, Go. If you have a knowledge of information security and risk management, ethical hacking, or any specific uh, certification like Security Plus, CEH, ISO, and so on, then you will be getting more preference over here. So if you have any of these, and if you don't have, then also you can earn in the time span you are going for. Uh, you are going to appear for this test. So these are some of the things that you need to have to get more preference in this hack quest. So I hope these are also clear. Now let's move further. Now let's get into the process that how this hack quest will be conducted, how many rounds will be there and what will be into all the rounds. So let's see. This event is conducted in two rounds. First round is an online catch the flag competition where all the registered students can participate. And after that, they will be shortlisted for further rounds. Also, participants per shortlisted after round one will move to round two, where they may be interviewed over video calls, MS Teams, WebEx by TC Cyber Security interview panel. So after getting into the uh, shortlisted from the round one, you can get a call for interviews and you will move on to the round two. So these are some things that uh, the process will be having. That is, the process will be having two rounds and the rounds will be based on the ethical hacking. Now let's get into the round separately. That is, let's know what will be in the round one and what will be into the round two. So since uh, we have two rounds talking about the round one, it will be an online test where the candidate would be required to log into into an online application with set of challenges questions to test their skills on ethical hacking.
so they, it will be an online test where ethical hacking questions will be asked to you it will be a six hour long challenge and there you need to submit the flags captured in the online portal about after completing the solving a challenge participants need to capture a screenshot of the flag with time span stamp visible and prepare a detailed report in the template provided with a step by step approach for solving a particular challenge so after uh, uh, getting all the flags captured you need to make a repair or report on that also and you need to submit that so make sure you submit the report then only you will be considered for round one else you won't be considered also report uh, should be uploaded on the hack quest portal before the deadline as mentioned so you uh, do uh, need to uh, capture all the flags you need to make the report all you have to do into the given time span else you won't be considered so this will be all the uh, the round one it will be a six hour long ethical hacking based challenges challenge when you need to uh, submit the report at last so i hope round one is clear to you now let's move on to the round two now since this competition is different than the other competition so let's see how the evaluation will be done here so here evaluation will be done based on the flags captured quality of the report submitted and approach followed for capturing the flags so these will be the three criteria on which you will be evaluated uh, so make sure you work on all these things and you uh, focus on all these things while giving that test let's move further now Coming on to the round two, round two will be given to the candidate who are selected in the round one. And again, the criteria of evaluation will be same and things will be same as like round one, but it will be on the difficult level. They will be more difficult than the previous round. So round two will be difficult than the round one, but it will be same as the round one only. And again, uh, evaluation criteria will also be same. So this, oh, this was all about round two. Now let's see other things about this contest. Now, if you are not into ethical hacking, but if you want to prepare for that and you want to participate into hack quest, then you can uh, learn these topics and then you'll be good to go for this competition. So you have to learn about application security, network security, Java, JTE, PHP, Python, Go, uh, information security and risk management, ethical hacking, any security specific certification like security plus CEH ISO 270. So uh, you can, uh, so what you can do, these are the things which, uh, which were uh, given for the preference. So the candidate will be getting preference and here, what you can do, you can do any specific certification on any one topic. And other than this, you can learn any one language out of it. And uh, uh, other and you can learn ethical lacking and network security. security. So if you will uh, do this much, then you will be able to do uh, participate good into the hack quest. And you will be good to go with this contest. So I hope these are all the things are clear. Now let's move forward. Now let's see the most important things that is the job opportunities. What job opportunities this hack quest will be offering you. So the top performing candidates who will clear round two will receive job offers from Ninja digital uh, job offers. So you will getting the Ninja, the digital and if you perform exceptionally well, then you will, will get uh, to work with the center of excellence team. That is, you will be getting the innovator role. So from 3 to 12 lakh LPA uh, opportunities, you can grab in TCS. So this is a great opportunity to get from uh, packages from 3 LPA to 12 LPA by performing marvelous into these rounds. Other than this, if you don't want to take the job or internship, then what you can go do is you can win the prizes of worth rupees five lakhs. So self uh, till five lakh prizes, you can also win with this competition. So these are great opportunities of uh, getting the job internship, getting the prizes up to five lakhs. So I hope this thing is uh, again clear. Now, now let's move to the further things. Now the most important thing you must be thinking is that how you'll be registering for the same. So the link for registration is given into the description box and to know the complete process, we'll be moving on to the site to know that process. So let's move on to that now. So this is the site from where you can register. And if you are a, a, want to register for hackers, then you can 
either log in or you can click on the register and you can register for the hack quest. If you want to know about hack quest, if you want to read more about hack quest, then you can click on about hack quest and you can read here. This is how you can register for hack quest. So if you are, when you will register, you will get, you have to fill your email ID, password and names, contact number, your, your skill set you can fill here. And from this skill set, you can also think that what you need to learn and on some things you can focus on that. You need to choose your university if, and if you are able, unable to find your new university, then you can cl click on the not listed also and you can fill that also. So if you, even if your university is not in the list and also you can register for the same. After that, you need to click on this register button. So registration has been started and you can register. The end date is not declared yet, but it will be beneficial if you register as soon as possible because you know uh, you don't know when the registration will end also you can start preparing for the ethical hacking competition from now also only so that you get prepared when the competition will be held so i hope these are all the details and um, so these are all the details about the thesis hack quest and i hope this video was useful for you if you like this video then do like share, and subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubt, then you can ask your doubt in the comment section below. If you want to apply for this hack quest, then please click on the link given under the description box. And if you want to connect with me, then you can connect with me on my LinkedIn. The LinkedIn URL is also on the description box. So that was all for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll meet in the next video.